Hello everyone. I want to share with you what I've been working on. Um, uh, I've been working on this um, diorama for quite some time now. Um, I think about two months ago I started to build this and I really haven't been able to finish it to complete it. But I have purchased a few items for it. So it's supposed to be a reading nook for my Blythe dolls. Um, I purchased the bookshelves at a thrift shop and it came with tiny little miniature items. I don't know if you can see it, but they're so cute and they're so tiny. This is my favorite. It's a little inchworm. And at thrift shops, I noticed that there's a lot of um, vintage miniature stuff that you can use for your dioramas. So yeah, check out your local thrift shops. Okay, so... Now, at Hobby Lobby, I went there about, when was it? I think over the weekend, I went and I found these cool items here. A bike that I believe is it's pretty close for the right scale for the doll. So I have a red one and they were 50% off. And then I found this pink one with a basket. It's so cool. And the pedals move and the tires spin. So I found that. Let's see what else. Um, I'm also working on another diorama. Um, I want to make a garden theme. And I found these pretty little flowers. This I did not get at Hobby Lobby. I purchased this at Joann's. It's called Tiny Worlds and you can put them in little tiny jars and make necklaces out of them, but I found these and they would they would look so great in my little garden theme diorama that I'm working that I, you know, plan on making. So I found a ton of those and they were also 50% off. There's more here. And this I thought was just so cute. It's a sewing little kit. It has little thread spools. It has scissors, tiny buttons. I just thought it was so cute. Um, little tiny clay pots. This I purchased at Michael's. And I purchased these little tiny book charms. Oh, great. For the bookshelf, of course. And there's more books. And they were also 50% off, so they were like a dollar fifty for each one. So different types of books. And those little books I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And I also purchased this at Hobby Lobby. They're in the clearance section. They are little tiny jars. So I plan on making a little reading area. Um, what else? A garden, an outdoor diorama. Um, and also a kitchen. So I have more books here. So I've been collecting quite a few little miniature items. This I purchased at Hobby Lobby. It's an antique phone, which I plan on customizing and changing it up. Here's a lantern. There's a mirror. A little chalkboard. More jars for my kitchen. A little basket. And these are mini glass jars and they have seeds in them. And they're so cute. That of course is for the kitchen. And this is falling apart. This is a little um, 
many flower pots. I could always pull those out and put those little flowers that I purchased from Joann's. I also have this um, mini frame, which I also plan on customizing, taking out the, the picture and making a little scenery. More tiny little picture frames. More little mini jars. A little watering can. What else do I have here? Oh, and these tiny little keys. So yeah, that's what I have so far for my diorama. Um, let's see, and what else? Um, I also purchased these cool shoes on Etsy. I don't have this, I don't remember the seller's name yet, but um, she makes adorable leather shoes. Look at these little boots. Aren't they just so cute? And they're so well made. And I believe I only paid, I wanna say maybe $11? $11 for these little boots. I'm not sure, was it 11? Yes, I mean, yeah, they were, they were, they were inexpensive and very well made. Um, I also got a different pair. Over here I have little tiny Mary Jane shoes and she, and she included the little socks with them it's so cute and it came in this little box um what else let's see so since i showed you all my, how to make eye chips i decided to open up a etsy shop i already have a different one where i um i make faux taxidermy animals um, out of felt and they're intended for um, nursery decor but um, so I decided to open up a different shop um, for my Blythe items because I make a ton of stuff and you know I can only I can I can only keep so much of it I don't have a lot of room in my craft room um, so I decided to open up an Etsy shop um, to sell some of my handmade goods so, I decided to put up my Blythe, um, Blythe Doll eye chips. Let me try to get all this stuff out of the way so I can show you what the eye chips look like. Now, her head's a little wobbly because she has a Lika, she's on a Lika body. So, I gotta hold her. So these are green eye chips that I made. These are new ones that I put on her. They're like a, it's like an orange color. So yeah, so I am selling my handmade eye chips for $5. And that's not a bad deal at all. Um, please don't judge this girl that I'm about to show you. Um, I was doing a little, I was practicing to cut hair and I plan on taking her, just chopping off the, all the hair off. But yes, she's a hot mess. So please don't judge. This is my icy doll. And I'm waiting on her on her um, hair to arrive so I can reroute it. But um, this is her. Okay, so let me show you her eye chips. So you can purchase these cool, realistic eye chips on my Etsy shop. Search for Little Darling Blythe. And then they're a good deal. I think they're a good deal. Because when I started doing this, um, I purchased a few eye chips that were like $10. And you can't really... Uh, and they came from... Where was it? 
I forget which shop I purchased it from, but it was um, it was uh, it wasn't in the U.S. So if you're in the U.S. and you can't wait to get eye chips, check out my shop and maybe you'll find something that you like. And these are other ones that I recently created. These are completely handmade. They are. Um, they are I. I painted these, and I added some little gems to it, and then I poured resin over it. So she has a little. She's got twinkles. You can't really see the sun's not out, but they're very cool. I don't know if you can see the little gems in her eyes. So I plan on making more of these. So I had to customize her eye chips. Uh, she's an icy doll. She's a Blythe clone. There's quite a few of them. There's the Basak. There's a Jesse one. Um, there's another one that is made here in the U.S. I believe uh, that changes her eyes, but I think it has like a little thing on the back where you just swipe it. If I'm not mistaken, but um, yeah, but this is my little icy girl and her hair is a mess. So I plan on chopping it all off. Yeah, so, so this is what I've been working on. And also, since I, I'm working on two other dioramas, a kitchen and a um, garden, I need to come up with a way to to make it so that I can disassemble it and it doesn't have to be up like this and take up so much room. So if I could just have it laid out flat and then, you know, if I want to take pictures on my girls that I could just, you know, reassemble it and just add the decorations on it. So I'm working on that. Um, yeah, so I will keep you guys posted on the on everything that I've, that I've been doing. So thanks for watching.